Uh, yes, Mr. Any Chair, it's all the person seal. Go ahead, sir. I have a question uh, of the applicant. Um, Mr. Mustafa, can you uh, describe exactly what merchandise uh, your Momo's location sells on 63rd Street? So on 63rd Street, we're a, a convenience store, but we're trying to fulfill like all the stuff that the neighborhood needs. So we start with like full line of grocery. We have a full line of American and Spanish grocery. We have uh, a hot food uh, restaurant. So a lot of people, especially in the pandemic, um, they rely on our kitchen, like they order to go food. So we have like the WIC office next door. We have the, the blast shop. We have the Wally Walls. We have the Urbanzo body shop. We have the dentist office. So a lot of these offices and facilities, we have the fire department. They always order from us like on lunchtime. And um, also we have the uh, liquor, we have fresh produce, we have uh, meat. I mean, like we're trying to fill up, we have like hair product after the hair salon and the beauty salon that was uptown from the riots that got bur burned down. We also filled up this gap where we are selling, you know, hair products now at the location. I mean, like we're trying our best to keep our customers in in the area where the, like people don't have no transportation, they don't have no cars. Like we're in walking distance in the middle of the neighborhood. And if you ask our aldermen, you know, I've been in the in this location for seven years. Thanks God, we never had any problem with the neighbors. We have very very good relationship with our, our um, neighbors with the neighborhood. Uh, we, we're trying to keep it this way. And um, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, down the street from here on Uptown, we're opening up Momo's Pharmacy. So we will have prescriptions um, that, like, you know, doctors will send the prescription by um, email. And we will be, you know, the only pharmacy in town that delivers prescriptions to your door. And that's going to help a lot the community here because the closest um, pharmacy we have is, like, on Washington and 22nd or on 80th and 22nd. And I really believe in Kenosha. I have a lot of inv investors that believe in uh, Momos and they want to invest. Like, so we're looking at several locations. Uh, it's not that I'm just only so, doing uh, grocery businesses, but I'm doing like, you know, everything that we need here in the city, especially in our area, in our neighborhood. Um, is it a full line uh, array of alcohol beverages on 63rd Street? Yes, sir. We have a full line words, of beverage. beer, wine, and liquor. We have beer, wine, liquor. We have tobacco. We have grocery. We have fresh produce, uh, dairy products, uh, grocery, hair products. Uh, I mean, like you name it. Okay. We're trying to fill um, everything. And so you, are, how how soon before the pharmacy is open? Uh, we're in a process. We were supposed to open in October, but because of the riots, what happened is. When they burned all these buildings, um, the, the We Energy had to shut down all the lines, like the gas lines, all the electricity lines on all buildings. And because, uh, it, as you know, it took a long time for investigators from the ATF to investigate and all that. Um, for, for hazard, also, it was a delay for them to reconnect electricity and um, uh, gas lines. So we had to go down to the city. The city, in order for us to issue a inspection, we had to hire a master electrician to come out and inspect the building, make sure our building did not get harmed. Um, thanks God, everything is good. We had to uh, get the inspection done, and we got it done um, about a month ago, and now we got electricity back. So, like, a lot of things got delayed from the, 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 the riots that happened in the area. But now we're up and running, so hopefully, like... I'm sorry, go ahead. What's the location of the pharmacy? Uh, 6212 22nd Avenue. And you said uh, it, is it, it's open now? No, no, it's not open yet. Like, we're in the process of opening it. Like, we had to bring in, like, shelves and coolers. And also, we have to get the okay from the state itself. They have to prove the blueprint before we start, like, you know, building the counters and the area where the um, prescriptions be stored. And, uh, like, uh, you know, there's several, several um, inspections has to be done. Like, the fire department has to come in. The building inspector the inspector has to come in. So we're in a process of doing that by, by next week because we were waiting over the holidays. I had to leave out of town 
uh, I wasn't available here to get these inspections um, scheduled. But our alderman, he has already, like, uh, he knows about it. He wrote a letter, like, you know, to speed up the process of uh, getting a license done because the neighborhood itself really needs it. Like, no one, like, all our customers are excited to see something like this back in the neighborhood. As you can see, I'm trying my best to work with a lot of people in the community to bring uptown area up and running. And uh, hopefully I will succeed, you know? All right. Um, I see on your resume that you are also uh, involved in the ownership of Momo's Supermarket and Momo's Midnight. Momo's Supermarket and Momo's Midnight I had sold about uh, four years ago. But I was the one that, um, uh, uh, like, opened that location and uh, got it up and running. But I do not have any uh, ownership anymore. But as okay, you can see, like, your, uh, your, uh, your resume uh, says job experience um, January 2014 to present uh, indicates that you are also uh, an owner of the supermarket on 52nd Street and Momo's Midnight. Is that the old Johnny Midnight's bar on 22nd Avenue? No, no, no. Momo's Midnight is the old Rumors. I don't know if you remember that. It used to, put, oh, uh, it used to be gotcha. called Rumors. No. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 not Johnny All Midnight. Right. No. All right. Well, I guess the, 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 the real crucial thing here is the nature by which that you're charged uh, with a felony, and I'm wondering, uh, is this, uh, can, you, can you explain, uh, from, from what I see on this fly sheet, uh, that fraud possess recordings with undisclosed manufacturer, PTAC. Could you explain the, the circumstances behind this uh, charge in 2007? Yes, sir. So what happened is um, back then I used to uh, own Panty Food Market on 14th and 50th. So I had one of my customers, his name is Tony. He used to um, burn these CDs and DVDs. And he asked me if it's okay to have him bring, uh, like, you know, certain amount of copies and put it on the counter in the store and uh, sell it for him. And he used to give me, like, $2 each copy I used to sell for him. So at that time, what I understood is like it's illegal to burn them, but it's not illegal to sell them. And that was like something that I misunderstood. And unfortunately, I, I was 22, 23 years old back then, very young. I was just trying to make a dollar. And um, it, it was kind of convincing where like, you know, you sell it, you don't have to do nothing, all what you need to do, just put it on the counter, sell it for me, and then I'll give you $2 on each cup. And unfortunately, you know, um, it was, it turned to be that it's illegal to sell it. It's illegal to burn it. The whole thing was illegal. So I got, um, like, uh, sued by uh, some uh, recording company and they like, um, they charged me for manufacturing CDs and DVDs. And, um, I was placed on probation for two years, but because of good behaving, I was discharged 13 months earlier. And um, I paid a fine, I paid the court fees, I paid the probation fees, and everything is like, you know, I, I left clean from that, um, uh, from that case. But the, the felony itself, you know, it's still on my record. And it's really like, it's really kind of blocking me from um, growing. Because as you can see, it shows that it's theft and it shows that it's fraud. Like, who wants to deal with somebody that has a theft uh, case or a fraud case? Um, like I do. And every time I explain it to people, I'd be like, it was because of CDs and DVDs. They laugh at me like, are you serious? They really charge you for this? I'm like, yes, I'm serious. You know? And uh, honestly, like, you know, I, it's still like I, I worked hard. I didn't want this thing to stop me from growing. Um, I worked hard. Uh, and thanks God, you know, I'm, for my age, for the person that I am, that I don't have no high education, I consider myself very, very successful, you know, and um, I'm, I'm hoping to keep on growing. And I really uh, love this city. I've been here for 20 years and I don't want to go nowhere. You know, I could have like I could have traveled all around the states and look for something, something else and, uh, you know, move 
but but I I rather stay here. I feel comfortable here. I believe in this city. I believe in the people in this city, and um, I really hope that you guys would put all this in consideration. Um, uh, thanks for uh, for all all of your explanations, uh, all the answers, to my questions. I'll, I'm going to yield the floor to my fellow uh, community members. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Other person, Griffin. Go ahead. Uh, um, Go ahead. Um, to the applicant, I did speak with your references. I spoke with two of them, Mr. Norris and also Amra, which both uh -huh. spoke highly of you as well. I Thank spoke you. with Mahalski, your older person of the yes, district, where um, Momos is on 63rd. He said yes, he's going to stay neutral because you didn't actually contact him. But he did say that he didn't have any complaints on Momos on 63rd. Thank you. Um, my question is, how how long ago did you apply for this bartender's license? How long has it been since the first time you applied? Um, I think it was in 2000. Uh, uh, let me see. I think it was in 2015 or 2016. I'm not sure. That was the last time I needed it. Um, and uh okay yeah but it didn't, it didn't work out it, but yeah go ahead sorry oh that's okay can you tell me who um Sofan mahana is this is that my was cousin one of your recommendation letters yes ma'am this, this is my okay. cousin yeah she, she's a teacher in new jersey she's uh she has a master degree uh in teaching and she's going for her doctorate um uh, degree. Okay. So I, I was believe... told that it's okay. Uh, I'm sorry, but I was told it was okay if I have these, um, you know, letters from people that deal with me on a daily basis, like, you know, friends, family, um, professions. So I, uh, Mr. Amro, that's my bookkeeper and my accountant. Um, Kerry, Mr. DJ262, he works with us and we work with him. We're like very, uh, we have a very good relationship partner wise with um, like, you know, feeding the community, giving back to our customers and to the community. He does a very, very good job out here where like, you know, he tries to keep the youth on good path and we are proud to be a part of this, you know? Yes, of course. So, I, I see that you, I feel that you are serious about getting your bartender's license. You gave recommendation letters. You have a yes, resume. I don't have any questions right now because you've Thanks. answered all of them. Thanks. If anyone else has questions. To the applicant, uh, the address you gave us, is that the address of of your store or is that your home address it's my address i have a house behind the store that i live in okay all right thank you yeah sir. i mean like you know the address is 1916 for the store but in the back there's a house attached to the store i live in does that have a different address no no it's the same address 1916 63rd street okay i mean i don't thank have you. uh yeah no problem that's okay Commissioners, any other, any other yes. questions? Yes, uh, Chairman, to the applicant, Mr. Mustafa. Yes, sir. So you're applying for an operator bartender's license. Uh, this is for the pharmacy you want to open up on 22nd Avenue. Is that correct? This is like for, like, as far as um, my understanding is, when you have a bartender license in the city of Kenosha, you can work anywhere that serve um, uh, uh, you know, beverages, beer or wine or liquor. Now, um, also on my understanding, it's a, it's like a lyric card where you can have like a copy in your wallet or a copy hang on the board inside the location that you're in. So um, we have not applied for any license as far as the pharmacy, uh, as far as liquor or beer. Uh, but we had mentioned it to the alderman, and the alderman said, I'm okay with that, if that helps your business keep up and running. But the thing is, like, you know, 
um, I have some of the staff that works with me as of right now in the location. They are going to be uh, training other employees in the pharmacy area. So they're going to be um, at the other location while this location doesn't have anybody with a bartender license. So until we train somebody, I don't want to hire any, uh, any employees at this location yet. So I'm going to be stuck here at the 63rd Street location. While I'm here, I like, you know, I, I think, you know, I can't, I can't serve alcohol without this part in their license. So whether I'm going to be here or in the future, if I go and like, you know, um, work uh, part time at the pharmacy, I rather have the license with me. So wherever location I'll be in, I'll be in like um, serve without getting the location any tickets or me personally any tickets, you know. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and that pharmacy is good. Is that going to be in the old uh, Valley Shoe Store on 22nd? Is that the address I'm thinking of? Um, it used to be a long time ago the Plasma Donor Center, and uh, they moved uh, they moved out of there. And then there was like a pawn shop or a jewelry store was there. But when I bought the building, it was vacant. They did not have no business running in there. I bought it. Um, couple of years back and um i wanted like to open uh, like you know just to lease it for uh like a daycare maybe or like a group home or something like that but i wasn't lucky to find the right tenant um to lease it for me and then um while, while i had it for lease uh one of my cousins she's a pharmacist and she had just got her license and i asked her you know listen i have this uh beautiful building it's in a beautiful location um why don't we open our own pharmacy instead of you working with big corporates like you know why don't we open it here first of all the, the, the neighborhood needs it so it's going to be a very good business and on top of all that you know instead of working for corporate you can just own your own business and stick around and she was excited and she was like interested in uh, in this idea and we went from there so i asked the uh, like um, the alderman I asked him, what do you think if we do this before we start with the plans and anything? And uh, he seemed to be very excited and very happy about the fact that this neighbor really, I mean, the neighborhood really needs a, a, like something like this. All right. Thank you. That's all I got You're for welcome. now. Sure. Anyone else? Or to commit what just just to throw something out uh with the commissioners be interested in making a motion to grant it 75 points second yes yeah i can't make the motion i can't make the motion oh. here <laughs> oh motion to approve subject to 75 the mayor point i'll second it Okay. Any anyone on the motion? Um, on, would, go ahead. Uh, I just wanted to say, Mr. Mustafa, that you, I see you still need to take a beverage course class. Yes, ma'am. I I uh, was uh, told that I don't have to take it now until I be approved. After that, I will have to get it before they issue the certificate itself. But I mean, like, if I get approved now. I can do it overnight tomorrow. It's like an online course that I can get it from Gateway. Um, yes. I mean, like, you know, I can get it done overnight, no problem. I have I have passed this test a couple of times, and I know actually the law, and I know the 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 course itself. Because I had this license long okay, time ago. Okay, just, just mentioning it. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> If there's no one else, uh, would the clerk please call the roll? Uh, Chairperson Kurt Wilson. Aye. Vice Chairperson Dominic Ruffalo. Aye. Alderperson Anthony Kennedy. Aye. Alderperson Bill Steele. Aye. And Alderperson Shana Griffin. Aye. Okay, that motion passed. Uh, to the applicant, uh, 
this, this is the committee's recommendation that goes to the council, uh, common council on Wednesday, January 20th yes, at 7 o'clock p.m. Yes, sir. Well, you got Thank that? you very much. I really appreciate okay. it, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I promise you, I will not disappoint you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Thank you. Uh, yes, item bye -bye. number two, please. Application of APS Hotel LLC for a yearly cabaret license at 614 56th Street with no adverse recommendations from the police department. Okay, I open this up for an applicant. Harry, is the applicant online wishing to speak on item number two? Is there anyone online from APIS Hotel? I, to IT, is there anyone online for, that we're aware of or trying to get in? We currently only have two members of the public. Um, one is unmuted and the other one has their mic muted. Okay. Is the under number two wish to speak? I don't. I don't hear anyone, uh, commissioners. I make a motion to concur with the recommendation. Second, Griffin. Okay, we have a motion and a second to uh, grant this application. Is there any questions or comments? Seeing none, would the clerk please call the roll? Chairperson Kurt Wilson? Aye. Vice Chairperson Dominic Ruffalo? Aye. Alderperson Anthony Kennedy? Alderperson Anthony Aye. Kennedy? Aye. Aye. Alder, Alderperson Bill Seal? Aye. And all the person, Shana Griffin. Aye. And that motion passed. Um, item number three, please. Application of Cheers Kenosha LLC for a yearly cabaret license located at 4619 8th Avenue with no adverse recommendations from the police department. Okay, I'm opening up item number three for an applicant hearing. Is there anywhere, is there anyone from Cheers? Online motion to speak. Do we have anyone from chairs wish to speak on item number three? Anyone wish to speak on item number three? I don't hear anything, so I close the applicant hearing. Commissioners. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, it's all the person CEO. Um, yes, sir. go ahead. With uh, the, the key question uh, that I would have for the applicant was just merely to um, corroborate what is put in on the application, which says that the um, the bands will be playing in the daytime hours. I'm familiar with uh, with this location and the. Um, the uh, the patio they have in back it's uh, in the middle of a residential area it's a it's a pleasant setting um, you know my concern right away was um, how late into the night will these performers be going and uh, in spite of the uh, operational plan uh, looks like the hours of the bar but the hours of performance um, let me see on the application said. Um, They'll be outside in the beer garden. Bands will only play during the daytime on weekends. So um, I, I will. I would hope. I would. Accept, I just simply wanted to firm that understanding up. And if this is certainly the way they intend to operate, uh, they're going to be much like uh, another establishment in the area, which is uh, has worked out nicely there. I, I don't get complaints. Both of these places are in my district. So uh, I'm uh, I'm I'm amenable and um, 
and I, uh, I support uh, their application, I move to approve. Well, let me ask, is there a second? I'll second. Okay, I have a question of the uh, alder person of the district. Sure. Did, did this establishment contact you regarding uh, Okay. Not for this license. Uh, they contacted me when there was a change of ownership when they were applying for their license to open as a bar. Um, it was better part of a year ago. Um, and uh, I don't think previously, you know, I'm this, I'm, previously bands did not play here that I'm aware of. And this is part of their new, new ownership plan. But I did not get a... Uh, a call from the applicant and I'm a little perplexed and it bothers me a bit that we've got two uh two applicants that, that weren't weren't on hand to answer questions there's a little more familiarity with one of them but the familiarity I have uh with with this applicant is uh since the new ownership has come into play I haven't received any complaints or any concerns and the uh, the non-adverse uh, recommendation from the police department speaks that this uh, establishment has uh, conducted its business well. And frankly, with uh, with bands playing outdoors in uh, in the daytime hours, uh, certainly alleviates a lot of potential um, issues that can otherwise uh, arise uh, in that neighborhood. And like I said, this model has been followed uh, just nearly one block away. And uh, there's another indication that uh, you know pockets of this of this district are kind of uh, you know, becoming a you know a, a good place to be on the weekend. It's close to downtown. You know, I like it. Uh, no, I've no reason to have any concerns based on what I've read and uh, the thorough explanation in their application. That's a long-winded answer. I apologize. Uh, just explaining my position. But but. Aren't they supposed to contact the older person a couple of weeks before the application? Yes, that is uh, that is my recollection. Um, I apologize for not um, focusing on that a little more uh, you know, uh, prior to making the motion. I guess I will uh, at, at the moment, uh, in the order in the in the interest of um, not keeping uh, the discussion alive amongst the other commission members. Uh, I'll I'll open the floor and withdraw my uh, withdraw my motion. Anyone else? Uh, Mr. Chair, go ahead. In in the uh, lack of uh, I don't want to tell anybody else off. I I assume nobody else had any questions. Is that so? Um, in, in light of um, in light of the, the circumstances about presenting us tonight, and uh, the uh, the interest of um, thoroughness and transparency in this application process, um, I would move to defer uh, this this uh, applicant uh, for two weeks. Uh, with the interest that um, that there be uh, contact on on two fronts, uh, not only to the committee uh, but to the other person of the district, um, and I, I'll I'll await that involvement. And um, but for now, I'm 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 more comfortable uh, in, in 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 light of uh, the reminder of the new landscape that we're operating in to hold ourselves to the same standards that we want of our applicants. So I'm I, I, uh, more confident in the motion of moving for a two week deferral on this application. Thank you. Second, Mr. Chair, all the person in the 10th district. Thank you. Anyone else, anyone on the motion? If not, uh, would the clerk please call the roll? Chairperson Kurt Wilson. Aye. Vice Chairperson Dominic Ruffalo. Aye. Alderperson Anthony Kennedy. Aye. 
Alderperson Bill Steele. Aye. And Alderperson Shana Griffin. Aye. That motion passed for, the, for a deferral. Uh, item four, please. Application of Slush LLC for a yearly cabaret license located at 2200 60th Street with no adverse recommendations from the police department. Okay, I open item number four for an applicant hearing. Is there anyone out there wishing to speak on item four? Does the applicant wish to speak on item number four? IT, is there anyone online? We just have the same two members of the public who were there previously. So what would they be having a problem getting in? No, they are uh, they are on the call. One member of the public has their phone unmuted and the other member uh, has their has their microphone muted via PC. Okay. One more time is, it, does the applicant on item number four wish to speak? Hearing none, uh, commissioners. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, it's uh, the person seal once again. And they're all the person of the district of this applicant. Uh, I have not been contacted uh, regardless of the uh, other things that are noted on this application. I will similarly move for a two week deferral to this application uh, until such time that uh, the questions and concerns of this older person and this committee can be properly addressed. I'll second it. Okay, we have a motion and a second to, to defer item four for two weeks. Anyone on the motion? And none. Uh, would the clerk please call the roll? Chairperson Kurt Wilson. Uh, aye. Vice Chairperson Dominic Ruffalo. Aye. Alderperson Anthony Kennedy. Aye. Alderperson Bill Steele. Aye. And Alderperson Shana Griffin. Aye. And that motion passed. Uh, yeah, this is Auto Person Griffin. Um, so, what the is this part of their app? Part is part of their application process that they that it says requires to contact the Auto Person. Correct. Yes. So when they fill out the application, they know contact the Auto Person. Required. Okay. Just making sure. Yep. Anyone else? If not, a motion to adjourn is in order. So move. I'll make a second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 